Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can get the ChatGPT app into Word or Excel, whichever you want to do. So first of all, I've already got mine on. You can see it at the end there on the home tab. To get it, you need to go file and then get add-ins and then just search for it. So chat. GPT search and then you've got it there for Excel and Word and you just click on add and then it will appear there. Now this is only the free trial version so you've only got limited uses before it will ask you to select a plan. So just close that off. If I click on it to open it up in Word you've got some pretty standard options there but let's have a quick look. If I get some text on the screen and let's see what we can do. I'll just do equals rand. So get me some text. So what I'll do is use translate. You can see translate as an option here. So I'll type it in there where you can flick it. And I've got this tick, so it's going to use the selection. So if I just double click on that first paragraph and translate to French. Let's go for that one and then just click on that and let's see what it does. So then if you want, you can insert it or replace it. I'll replace it. Let's see what happens there. Look, so now that's gone to French. I'll just get rid of this text. I'll just type equals rand again. So I get some clean text. So what I could also do is highlight this um, chunk of text I've just got there and click on or type summarize. And then see what it does there. So it's going to summarize this bit of text and it's given me a list there. Um, you can then insert that as well or copy it, whichever you want to do. I'll go back right up to the top. You've got these other things here. Look, summarize, um, translate, we've had, had a look at. You can um, fix grammar and stuff like that. Different features. And like I've already said, this is the free version. So at a certain time, of you using this it'll come up with a message asking you to pay for the full version i'm just going to get rid of all of this text Control a on there Control a delete all that in the uh, chat gpt for excel you have a few more functions if i just click on this link here you can see you've got all of these different options that you can utilize ai ask is probably the most common one but if i just come back into excel you can ask um, all sorts of questions with that. You just need to type equals AI dot ask and you see all the other functions coming up. Open the bracket and then ask a question. So in quotes, I'll get it to list top three movies of all time. Close the quotes. And then just press enter, see what it comes up with. It's coming up with busy. You might have to qualify that. So it comes as one big long line of text. If I just merge and center this for a minute over a few of these, take that off, bring that back, and just wrap text as well, and then merge. Down the bottom it is. There we go. Get there in the end. Probably want that to the top. And left. So it's listed The Godfather, Shaw, Shank Redemption, and The Dark Knight. Can't believe that. But there you go. I just asked a simple question and it listed it for me. You can also ask it how to do formulas and functions. And basically, as long as you put the right sort of description in the comment part of the ask, it will come back with the information. It's pretty similar to Copilot, which you've got already. So there's one I asked, basically asked if I could how to do county function in those cells. And it came back with this information. So it's a very similar feature. I, I've used Copilot quite a lot, but this is all about chat GPT for Excel and Word. We've looked at Word. That's just a little example in Excel. And again, 
the pay part will pop up after a certain number of uses. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.